Hello! In this video, we will look at the Amazon CloudWatch Logs Anomaly Detection and Pattern Analysis, which is powered by machine learning. But first, let's consider some of the challenges with log analytics. With modern architectures and microservices, there is an increasing volume of log data in different formats. It can be difficult to identify changes in logs over time, or to detect and identify root cause of issues quickly. And there are always those unknown unknowns. Sometimes it's hard to even know what to start looking for when unforeseen issues occur. And it's difficult for humans to correlate and examine all of this data. This machine learning powered capability allows you to quickly summarize thousands of log entries into a handful of patterns. You can quickly examine what changed with the new compare mode. And you can also configure always on anomaly detection for your most important log files and create alarms which will proactively alert you if anomalies are found. Let's see it in action. Okay, so I'm now in my CloudWatch Log Insights console. I'm going to select a couple of log groups here and I'm going to search all of the log entries in those two log groups over the last three hours. So there are 914 log entries here. So quite a lot of information for me to review and look through. But if I head over to this patterns tab, I can see all of the patterns that were detected in those log file entries. I can organize them by the ratio or event count. And straight away, I can see that these informational and debug patterns are my top two. So I'm actually going to filter those out. I'm only interested in errors. And here I can see that there is an error. It has some variables and occurs 87 times during that time range. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect this further. So under this pattern inspect, I can see um, that it consists of an error. Then it has two variable values or patterns or tokens. And it continues with this wording data processing for request failed. I can see a histogram uh, based on the, the pattern occurrence. And I can see some of the log samples as well of this taking place. Now here I can also examine those token values uh, and I can also just check if some are occurring more often than others. Now in this example, as these variable values are date and time, they are pretty unique. I can also see related patterns, um, those that occur simultaneously at the same time. So that can be quite handy. Now, if I just clear this pattern, very often there might actually be error messages in your log files there for weeks and they haven't impacted your application. You just haven't noticed them. So what you can now do is you can actually compare this data. So I have selected compare here and I have the option to compare against the previous period. So that means as I'm searching for three hours, this would compare with the three hours prior to those three hours. I can also compare previous day, previous week, previous month. So I'm going to go ahead and select this previous period and run this query again. Now, when I examine the patterns, I can see this different difference in event count and difference in um, description. So straight away, I can see which patterns have increased or decreased in those last three hours, or if some have disappeared. Also, if had some new patterns, they would appear in here as well. So that can be very, very handy to again pinpoint problems quicker. 
Now let's head over to Log Anomaly. Next, I want to show you how to create those always on log anomaly detectors for specific log groups. So I'm now in the log anomalies console. I can create an anomaly detector from here. Here are some of the settings you can specify, your log group, the evaluation frequency. Optionally, you can add some additional filter patterns and specify the maximum anomaly visibility period in days after which your anomalies will be baselined. As I already have one, I'm not going to create another one. Now, what you can see is a list of anomalies that have been detected for my log group. I can organize these by priority. Uh, I can examine the log anomaly trend last detection time, first detection time, and which anomaly detector it belongs to. From there, I can also examine the pattern like you have seen before. I can see the pattern itself, the log samples, and those variable or token values. I can also suppress this anomaly if I don't find it useful. And from this screen, I can also create alarms for when different priority anomalies are found for specific detectors. Please make sure to check out the documentation for this capability. Thank you for watching.